Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, how are you this afternoon? I'm great, James. Great. Just back from my training. I love her shirt too. Uh, very cool. Yes, we got a lot to get into here today. I actually should have redid that intro. I should say Bellator featherweight champion, Chris Ivor, because you're back with the promotion. Uh, very exciting news. Uh, tell us how this all came together. You know, you guys know I work with Scott for a long time. Um, beginning my career, you know, we did an amazing uh, four years in Bellator. And then make did an amazing contract for me. And, you know, it's have the best fighters in my division there in Bellator. So I'm really happy to sign with Danny, work again with Scott. And yeah, I'm really happy. Is it safe to say your MMA career will end with Bellator now? Because this is, uh, again, really great to see you resign here. You know, it's hard to say. Like, I don't, you know, I cannot handle the future. Mm -hmm. But I'm really happy and for doing some fights. And for sure, we have a plan for the future. But for now, I'm really happy. And then I'm going to do the, the best fights for my career and for my fans. And I think I know the answer to this, but I got to ask anyways. I imagine there were other offers, right? Because, uh, you know, you're, you're one of the biggest combat sports athletes in the world. Yes, yeah, so I have a lot of offerings. And my team was being talked to Bethel and other pl places. And we, we have a meeting. I mean, we have a meeting with them too. So it was a, it was a great opportunity to see, see around. Yes, but yes, I mean, I'm a family better. That's great. Now, the big question, when are you going to fight next? And is it going to be Katzengano? What's the latest? You know, supposed to be Katzengano. You know, Bellator signed her three years ago for supposed to make this fight happen. She's really the number contender one, uh, contender number one, her division. Um, and the people waiting for this fight. You know, uh, she's going to turn in this summer 41 years old. And I hope we can make this fight before she retire. But, you know, she's not willing to make this fight. I know Sarah McMahon coming and she's ready. She want to make the fight happen and let her, let her just fight. We fight. So, but I hope it gets in gun. I said, and there could be some other options as well. I know Kayla Harrison was on uh, Ariel Hawani's MMA hour show a few weeks ago. Uh, she's not in the season this year. She doesn't have a fight right now. It seems like she is a free agent. Uh, potentially. Could we see her in Bellator? Do you think? No, I, I was going to take my, uh, my plane, future plane base it. And then Kayla. So, uh, I, I hear about you, her contract is going to finish in December. We feel, you know, uh, family is, uh, Bellator is an amazing family. If you should, like, come over, you know, we can make this fight happen in December after I fight Cats and Gano. So, yes, I have a lot of opportunities in the future. So let's see what's going to happen. What about boxing? We've seen you take some boxing fights as well. Are you allowed to take those opportunities under your new Bellator contract? Yes, it's still the opportunity. I can still can boxing, you know, for Bellator. And my team been talking, you know, maybe June or July, I have an opportunity for boxing before my next fight. And I'm very excited. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's great that they allow you to do that. You know, you yes. have more options. You can keep active. So kudos to Bellator for, for allowing you to do that. Um, we had a big UFC card last weekend. We got to talk about the main event. Everyone's been chatting about it. It is Aljamain Sterling retaining his bantamweight title in a close fight, a split decision with Henry Cejudo. Uh, what did you think of the fight? And how did you score? Who do you think won? You know, it was a really close fight. One thing I see between them, they don't use a jab a lot. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know because I'm mean, working a lot of boxing, we work a lot of jabs for opening the, the, the doors for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So I think it was missing a little more and more jab. Um, it was a great fight. You know, Aljamain is a great champion. You know, JP was helping me, him for this camp too. You know, JP from South Africa, my friend. And you know, Sehudo did good too. You know, a long, long time no fight, and he come back. He did they put a great show for everyone. You know, I I, I hope he still make some fights too. You no know, retire, make more. Let's see what's gonna happen. But it was good. I think if Sehudo doing the more boxing, I think the fight so can be more score for him too. But that was a great fight. I agree. Yeah, very exciting matchup. We also had uh, Canelo Alvarez fighting last week, and I think that was another big thing. He defeated John Ryder. Uh, what did you make of uh, his performance in that fight? You know, I was in Mexico after 10 years, you know, Canelo back there fighting. Um, it was a great fight. I watched for a little bit, you know, I watched the whole, the whole fighting. But, you know, I say, Heidegger I took a lot of punches from Canelo. It was a great fight. Uh, 50,000 people there. Um, I see Canelo a little bit slow. I don't know if, he, you know, how many fights he's going to have him over. So I have to enjoy watching him, see the couple fights he's having. You know, for a long time he's doing this before he's retired. But it was a great fight, great fight, great to learn. How's he stepping on the left? The other guy was southpaw. I see how he's playing with his foot. 
So I was learning a lot to watch. It was amazing. Congrats, Canelo. And you got the t-shirt on or the shirt on, I should say. We got to talk about our Blaze game of the week. Are you still sticking with the Celtics, Chris? I got to know. You know, we just, we're 3-2 now. Yeah. They just got a big, amazing victory, you know, this weekend. Yes, yeah, I continue for Celtics and it'll be great. it's going to be great. I And you. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm get, we, we got to go opposite, Chris, because then it's going to make it more interesting. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 76ers to, uh, to get it done. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we cannot leave the show without doing our Portuguese saying of the week. I got to make sure we keep on top of that. Uh, you have a lot of animals. We actually haven't talked about your animals in a while, but uh, how would I say, what animals do you have? How would I say that in Portuguese? Um, que animais? Que animais? Você tem. Você tem. Que animais yeah. você tem. You can say pet too, because you know pet animals everywhere. But okay. you can ask what pet, or qual pet você tem. My animals. Porque tem. Okay, gotcha. I think so. That's good because you know eventually I want to I want to see some animals if I go traveling. Do, so. do you have some pet? Do you have some? Pets? Oh yeah, I do. I have I have a cat. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, his name's uh, his name's Fuji. You know what? I will tweet you a picture of my cat after this. He's a British short hair seal point. He looks Siamese. Like if you saw my cat, you'd think he's Siamese, but he's not. He's a British short hair, so he's a little bit bigger. Got really thick fur, but he's colored like a Siamese. Like he's got the black face, black paws, but like a white brown fur. It's it's really interesting. His name's Fuji. So. Uh, nice. So nice. there you go. I'll uh, I'll send that to you after after the show. I'm sure you'll uh, get get a kick out of it. Actually, I should mention as well for our audience, Fuji has an Instagram account. It's Fuji San Cat. I'll put that in the description or something. But uh, he, he's a great cat. I love him. Nice. Uh, um, I have Instagram too, Cyborg Zoo. So I'm gonna follow you. There we go. I'll, uh, yes, I'll follow. You know what I'll do? I'll follow you right now on the okay. Fuji Cat account, and then you can follow me back on the Cyborg Zoo. There sure. we go. It's a good sure. deal. Uh, before we get out of here, premium service only fans, ChrisCyborg.com. So ChrisCyborg.com. You can. Sign up with Bitcoin. There's exclusive content, including the uh, Q&A every month. You can sign up for less than a cup of coffee. The OnlyFans, I know you've got a ton of behind the scenes content about training and all that different stuff. And, you know, uh, lots of stuff going on. So, Chris, anything you got coming up on ChrisCyber.com and in your OnlyFans? You know, guys, make sure to go to my OnlyFans, the subscribers, amazing content you put there, an amazing video every week for you. And, you know, my premium service, you know, I, I love it. It's family. You know, when I break the news, I always break for them first. And, you know, we're going to be next week. You're going to be in Miami. You're going to have the Bitcoin conference. And if you still don't have your your tickets for going there, you can go to my website. You sell in there. have some percentage off. I want to say thank you for everyone. First, it's in my website. It was a great. And learn every day. If you want to know more about Bitcoin, make sure you guys show up there. You guys are going to learn a lot in the conference.